So let's ask Congressman Mike Gallagher of Wisconsin. Uh, Mike Gallagher, welcome. You are, Kevin McCarthy has put you uh, in head of this China Select Committee, which is very, very important. I wanted to ask you, it's not the only issue, but there's this Taiwan war game that was sponsored by CSIS, the think tank. It's a conservative think tank in the main. And here's what they said. If communist China is to be defeated and they come after Taiwan, three things. First, Taiwan's got to resist. Okay. Second, here's the key. Uh, America has to engage militarily within one week. And they're talking land and sea. I figure Navy and the Marines and the Air Force. And then third, Mike, that Japan allowed the use of its own soil for us, the U.S., to um, stage the attacks. What do you make of that? If China attacks Taiwan, do you think the American people would support an actual U.S. military involvement to defend Taiwan? I think it would require enormous leadership from the president of the United States making the case to the American people that it was worth it. Now, ultimately, our goal should be deterrence. Our goal should be to avoid a kinetic conflict with China. But to do that, we need to put hard power in Xi Jinping's path before it's too late. We need to be surging hard power west of the international dateline. And we're simply not doing that with a sense of urgency. And add on to that the fact that we now have the conflict in Ukraine, which is depleting our stockpiles of critical munitions, javelins, Take Harpoon missiles, for example. The Taiwanese have bought Harpoon missiles. They're not scheduled to arrive until 2027 in many cases. That's far too late. So despite all the happy talk about arming Taiwan to the teeth, we're simply not seeing the requisite urgency that we need from the administration to say nothing about getting the authorization that I believe they would need from Congress. So we have a lot of work to be done. And victory in this war game rests on a series of assumptions that I just don't think are realistic right now. Yeah, I mean, they, they're basically saying, as, as you must be familiar with it, that the U.S. has to act within one week, and then if they wait longer, China wins the advantage. I've also had, Mike Gallagher, some national security people. I'm not going to name names, but you know them and you respect them. We're not doing enough for our Navy. We may not be doing enough for our Air Force. But also, this kind of venture would require landing Marines on the island of Taiwan. Well, the, uh, the third uh, uh, condition they specify in this war game is that you need Japanese basing agreements, right? Well, that's critical. In the Ryukyu Islands in southern Japan, you need small teams of Marines that are armed with long-range fires to sink Chinese ships. We don't have those agreements right now. So there's a lot of work that we need to be done. You know, the other thing we need to think about here is do we have the war fighting structures in place so that we can fight coherently with our allies? Are we on the same page with the Taiwanese, for example? Are we on the same page with the Japanese and the Philippines, right? Right now, we just don't have that war fighting structure in place. Our war games aren't sufficient. And so you mentioned the Navy as well. That's really the critical piece. Look at a map of the Indo-Pacific. One thing becomes clear. There's a lot of water on that map. The Navy is therefore the priority force in our priority theater. And the Biden administration wants to cut the Navy to its lowest level at the worst possible moment. In the window of maximum danger, our Navy is going to bottom out. We are going to be weakest when our enemy is potentially strongest. In 2027, the target date that Xi Jinping has set for invading Taiwan, as well as the 100th anniversary of the founding of the PLA. So we need to reverse course. We need to build a bigger Navy. And again, we just need to move with a sense of urgency that we're not seeing from the Biden administration. That's what these national security people are telling me, exactly what you just said, particularly with respect to the Navy. Um, just the last 20 seconds, you think Joe Biden would act quickly within one week to take action if China invades? I think one week is too late. The Chinese are pursuing a fait accompli. At the end of that week, they will have already established facts on the ground in Taiwan. So I think that's why we need stuff in place that can deny them their objective in real time. It's deterrence by denial, not this concept of integrated deterrence Thank that you. Biden's trying to sell us. Mike Gallagher, head of the China Select Committee. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it.